Welcome back to the channel, to the ZX fam. Appreciate you guys as always for sticking around. You guys can tell by the title. We're going to be talking about our good old friend Pepe because Pepe has seen a sharp drop within its price. And again, if you do follow the regular day-to-day -day videos regarding Pepe, this is something we've been having our discussions around. But let's take a closer look and see what we're looking at in terms of its price and what we could be expecting. So looking at the price of Pepe, it's down 10%, guys. Pepe is down 10% right now over the past 24 hours and we know what has happened for the broader market and again shouldn't really be too much of a shock um, you know if you're looking at it on the weekly time frame it's almost down about 30 percent and even these numbers are a little behind I think Pepe is down a little bit more than what we're seeing but you can get the idea that pretty much the entire market is seeing a massive retracement within its price but let's take a look at what's happening with Pepe what are some next price targets we could be aiming before I do that as always just a quick disclaimer anything on this channel is not financial advice always do your own due diligence and research when you are investing in crypto so looking at the price of pepe right now 8507 so of course you know we do have that seven uh, i'm sorry five zeros in front of the price again uh down 9.9 percent .9 in all three comparatives bitcoin usd and ethereum comparative market cap on the other hand is around 3.6 billion dollars and the 24 hour trading volume is at about 1.1 billion but if you're looking at the holder count on the other side you are seeing the holder count increasing day by day by day so that is obviously a really nice thing to see about Pepe this is something pretty much for the entire year of 2024 we've been seeing going up new holders coming in and that shows itself that you know Pepe has a lot of interest and you know when people do make um, you know comments regarding Pepe taking over Shiba Inu potentially you know that shouldn't really be too much of a surprise because the way it's climbing up right now speaks for itself and pretty much in terms of all centralized exchanges the big ones uh, to be specific all have already listed Pepe so you know in terms of liquidity if you're worried about about liquidity that shouldn't be an issue with Pepe because it is listed on pretty much all the big centralized exchanges so FOMO can happen with Pepe really easily because it's more accessible compared to some of the other short small cap meme coins but anyhow let's take a look at what's happening with the broader meme coin market because a broader meme coin market right now is being impacted big time you, you are seeing 42.3 billion dollars uh, as far as the entire meme coin market is combined and that's how much it's worth right now so we have seen a lot of money flow out of the meme coin market uh, just over the course of the last week and a half and again you know this is the meme coin market most of these coins do tend to go down way more as I've said to you guys countless of times because of the fact that there's no utility these projects bring you know these are high risk investments very very high risk and it's all literally at the end of the day 99.9% .9 of these are going to go to zero I've said this from the beginning and I'll say it again 99.99% .99 of these are going to go to zero so if you're not going to be locking in these profits uh, when you see these uh, massive gains you're making um, you know you're going to be left behind and that is what you need to accept but let's continue to take a look at what's happening so yeah pretty much everything right now over the last 24 hours is down substantially like Pepe as well uh, but again you know we're seeing Shiba Inu at 8.3 billion dollars and Pepe is about 3.6 billion so you know that conversation it continues to happen and I think it will continue to happen till the end um, and the possibility of that actually happening I think is quite high of Pepe actually taking over but again one step at a time and Bitcoin dominance on the other hand of course if you do follow my channel you know what's happening with the dominance index it's skyrocketing day by day uh, nothing new for that um, and I um, mean you know, if you're looking at BTC and again you know this thing going up the way it is is not good if you're holding altcoins or meme coins because this tells you people are converting their meme coins or even um, you know regular altcoins into Bitcoin because the uncertainty is sky high but if you're looking at Bitcoin Bitcoin obviously holding above 60k right now which is nice to see uh, but the chances of it actually losing this is quite high and um, you know I think that could obviously trigger a little bit more downside but now if you're looking at Pepe's price this is very very interesting to see as to what's really happening so if you're noticing Pepe is retesting the support that we honestly retested just on July 5th and after the July 5th retest we actually saw Pepe go up 60% so if you were giving yourself a little bit of a hard time just a week ago for not accumulating um, you know Pepe at this cheaper price well that opportunity is once again you know right in front of you but this time around the difference is compared to around here as to here dominance was much lower when it was 
on this July 5th zone. Dominance is much, much higher where we are currently sitting at. Uh, you can kind of see, let's go to July. Let me show you guys something. July, no, that's June, June, July, yeah. So 5th. Yeah, so July 5th, around 55%. Let's let's even say 55.4%. Right now, we're sitting at almost yearly highs. So a big difference, a massive, massive difference. And, um, you know, while the opportunity, though, it's still there. If you are a huge believer in Pepe, if you have done your due diligence research and, um, you know, one to $2 cost average in, you are getting uh, much cheaper Pepe compared to where it was literally a week and a half ago to be exact a 40% retracement which is massive right now where the price of Pepe is currently sitting at you know this key support which of course at one point was a massive massive resistance with the price but that's where we're currently sitting and we're not even sitting at the um, 82 12 zone we're sitting actually at the 84 79 which is a massive level of support as well but we don't want to see Pepe going below this guys let me tell you let me tell you the importance of that you don't want to see Pepe Pepe going below this because if it does you know we could actually go down to the next major support which is around the 6533 to be quite frank with you and you know that is a massive massive drop that's a 23.52 percent drop and if you think that is not a possibility what if i told you if dominance continues to move up and bitcoin goes back down to 53,000, it would need bitcoin to actually retest at july 5th lows i don't think it happens unless Bitcoin retest this zone. If it does, I think there is a possibility we do see this price, uh, you know, come to a reality. So this could be in the cards. But again, obviously, um, I hate saying this, but on this channel, we're going to keep it realistic. This is why we pay attention to crypto and Bitcoin price on a day to day basis. You know, I don't uh, give you guys false information. I don't, um, you know, overhype a project when it doesn't really need to be overhyped i keep it 100 percent realistic with you and right now in this specific moment with the overall outlook um for the obviously traditional market and how that can impact the crypto markets if we consider all these things and if the bitcoin price were to go down to 52k then yes guys there is a chance that you do see pepe retesting these prices which we haven't seen since april of this year but again hopefully we don't see that but uh, you know we have to keep it realistic on this channel so let me know down below what you guys personally think remember these are meme coins at the end of the day uh they do drop much faster and at the same time when things heat up they tend to move up much faster so you know we need to look at it from both point of view it's not going to be just one thing like where you know the pro projects go up super fast but you know when it comes to going down they don't go as fast that's the reality with meme coins uh, and this is why you know i was continuously telling you guys if you made that profit lock those profits and go watch any of my pepe updates i was saying lock those profits in around that range and if you did you are getting a 40 percent cheaper price for pepe to reaccumulate so let me know down below what your personal thoughts are regarding this love each and every one of you guys we'll see you tomorrow in crypto zx and peace out